Humanity has broken free from the chains of gravity. God has allowed his creatures to rise above the atmosphere and behold the world with new eyes. I'm going to see the James Webb Space Telescope in a deployed position, so that should be fun. I was supporting the Space Force a while back um, and uh, working from home and I um, got an email saying, hey, who wants to go see the James Webb Space Telescope? So I was debating whether I should drive down or not. But after work I said, why not? Let me drive down there. It's a unique opportunity. Right. I'm driving, looking for the building. M8, that's where the James Webb Space Telescope supposedly is at. Ah, oh, there it is, right there. M8, yep, that's the building. I'm going to see the James Webb Space Telescope, Rodondo Beach. And we're gonna see the James Webb Space Telescope, everybody. Yeah, baby. So there was good news and bad news. The good news, I got to see it. I walked in um, into the side room, the viewing area, and there was a small group that went in. So I went in with them, and there was a young engineer that was explaining how it works and how each mirror can be aligned in independently, etc. So it was neat and exciting, and the view was pretty much as you can see here. The, the shields were deployed, etc. Uh, the bad news was they did not allow any photography, um, so I was not too happy about that. But uh, there's photos online that you can uh, see. But apparently people do take photos. Look at this one. This is a program manager and look in the reflection about all the people there. So I don't know what it was about the deployed sun shield that they didn't want people to see. But anyway, um, yeah, the previous image pretty much had the perspective that I had from this small room. After decades of development, the telescope was finally launched Christmas Day 2021 from uh, the French Guyana. Everybody was uh, there, it seemed very exciting, lots of dignitaries. It's a huge deal, you know, and everybody gets all excited. And uh, let's listen in. I learned a new word. Takeoff in French means decollage. <laughs> let's have a listen. Thumbs up from Jean-Luc Voyer. All systems are go. We're inside a minute now. T-minus 50 seconds and counting. Six, cinq, quatre, trois, deux, unité, top. And we have engine start. And lift off. Décollage. Décollage, lift off from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Birth of the universe in your dreams. <laughs> Anyway, I'm starting a series so we understand all this nonsense that is being propagated by the space industry. Uh, you know, the technology is there, I worked on it, it's incredible, but the models they create and our understanding of where we live, uh, it's not quite what uh, you've been taught in school. And so we're going to look at a few satellites, uh, like the EPIC, and uh, supposedly James Webb is going out to L2. Discover satellite is at L1, it's got the EPIC camera. Um, James Webb is a cool telescope. I'm uh, curious what it's going to produce, um, looking into God's uh, dome. 
Yeah, very interesting. Uh, but there is another satellite or satellites that look down on Earth, the Goa satellites, Himawara 8. So we'll take a look at how our understanding has changed since the space age, how this imagery is being created and assembled, the projections that are being used to give us the globe uh, impression. You know, it's a projection. That's all it is. We'll also take a closer look at the advanced Mawara Imager. Um, I uh, studied this quite a bit and uh, exchanged emails with one of the chief engineers. A very fascinating instrument. And um, yeah, this represents one of the latest in space imagers. Uh, quite fascinating. And then we'll have a look at orbits because there's a lot in there that uh, will blow your mind away. I spent decades working for aerospace companies and it's been quite a ride. Every time I visit a military base I like to stop by and look at airplanes. This is uh, the Smithsonian Museum at the Dulles Airport. I used to fly out to Washington DC and it's a pretty cool museum. I just love all the you know, different vehicles uh, on display there. Aerospace, um, you know, it's uh, quite fascinating, the whole industry. They have the Discovery Space Shuttle there. I've seen the Discovery take off and land multiple times while living in Florida. And um, but, uh, you know, I did not dream that eventually um, I would be gripped by the flat earth. And uh, before I even took any photos in infrared, um, I was uh, a believer. I had seen too much in my career and things started snapping into place. And to somebody that hears this for the first time, they're thinking, what? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Flat Earth? That's some archaic <laughs> term, as YouTube puts down, you know, underneath all my videos. But yeah, the Earth is flat, and uh, you will learn some incredible things uh, in this series that I'm starting. So let's buckle up. 